Okay guys, here I am again, coming from my car, Thursday. Um, I know tonight's probably going to be a late night because we have um, my son is playing in a championship baseball game for his uh, U6 uh, baseball league. And at the same time, my daughter has swimming lessons and if I think if things don't go, I think if we don't win tonight in the first game, then we'll have to play a second game. So, I don't know if I'll have time to make a video later, so i just spent 30 seconds talking about nothing. Okay, so if anybody watched, which I know a bunch of y'all did watch my, um, my video from uh, Tuesday when I got my lab results back, oh, Lord, I was in a state. I was definitely uh, overreacting, I think, to what my labs were. I kind of wish I would have slept on it before I made a video about it, but in a way it's good. It's my raw feelings, and you got to see me um, going a little cuckoo. But um, thank you to everybody who commented and gave me suggestions on what I should do to improve my protein levels. I truly appreciate every person who took the time to um, respond or do a video response send me an email. I, I, I really, truly appreciate that. I, I felt a lot of love from the community, and um, it was really nice. So, uh, I am going to up my calories to in between 1,000 and uh, 1,200 um, every day. Uh, so far, this is day two of trying to do that, and it is challenging. I feel like I'm eating all day long because I can't eat that much at one time, um, and then to get that much, I have to eat snacks and so, I just feel like I'm, I'm eating all, uh, constantly throughout the day. Uh, but that's okay. I'm just, I'm trying to f just figure it out as best I can. And um, uh, somebody had made a comment that I need to focus on the good things from my labs. And I agree with that. I need to focus on that. I, um, all of my um, vitamins were good. All my levels were good. And really the protein was the only thing that was bad. And it wasn't even... It was low, but it wasn't like ridiculous malnutrition no, low. It was like heading towards that way. But um, uh, Pamela had sent me a message saying that hers were actually a little bit lower than mine. And her doctor wasn't really too overly concerned about it. And he had told her that probably next time it would be better. And that's probably how it is going to be for me too. So, um, sorry y'all saw me at my raw um, perfectionist and everything's not perfect moment. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist, I'm type A, um, and when I see that something that I've been thinking that I'm perfect at isn't perfect, then I feel like everything I'm doing is wrong, and I, I am my toughest critic. So, but I'm here to say I'm, I'm, I'm getting over that, and I'm, I'm much better. So, um, what else? I wrote down a few notes. Um, oh, my numbers. Hello. So last week, um, well, at the beginning of my journey, for, I know I got a lot of new subscribers, and thanks for subscribing. I had my surgery on November 17, 2011. This is week 29. Um, I was 272.8 at the start of the journey. Last week, I was 177.7, and this week, I'm 175.4. And would you believe a big chunk of that loss came today? After I had almost a 1,200 calorie day yesterday, the big loss was today. Who knows? So all together now, I've lost 97.4 pounds, and I kind of hadn't said it out loud too much, but I really wanted to get to 100 pounds down before my birthday, which is Saturday. Um, and obviously, I'm not going to do that, but you know what? That's okay. I usually, I, I actually never put time um like dates on my goals because I don't want to be disappointed for this very reason and I'm like slightly disappointed because uh, it would have been cool to say that I was down 100 pounds on my birthday but I mean 97 is like pretty friggin close to 100 pounds and I mean I'm extremely happy with 97 pounds down so anyway um, that's where I am today I had an appointment with my OB yesterday. It was like a regular annual appointment, and I hadn't seen her since obviously a year ago, way before I had my surgery. And um, she she knows that I've struggled with my weight, you know, time and time again. And she she delivered both of my children, so I've been going to. I, I started actually going to her when I was 15, and I'm getting ready to turn 38. So um, 
she was, I was kind of nervous because she's very opinionated and she's not afraid to express her opinions. And I didn't know how she felt about um, weight loss surgery, but she was very happy for me. She said that I was doing well. I gave her a copy of my blood work to get her opinion on my blood work. She didn't seem concerned about it at all. She said, yeah, your protein's a little low, but I know it's hard to get, get in protein after weight loss surgery. Just keep working at it. Like, she was perfectly fine with it. So, that made me feel better, too. Uh, one funny thing when, you know how they, she examined my breast, of course, and you're naked, and um, she said, okay, so now that you're almost close to goal, you need to think about um, lifting these, and she she lifted my breast, you need to get a lift for that, and you need to get rid of all the loose belly skin, and like, she kind of grabbed it and shook it, and I was like, okay, uh, I'm like, yep, that's my plan, is to do that, and she, she you know, said she wouldn't recommend, um, getting implants, but just to have my breast lifted, and I, I, I'm kind of thinking that's probably the route that I'm going to go, um, I mean, I got a lot of ways to go before, I probably have like at least a year before I have to really start thinking about that, but of course, every time you get naked to have a shower, it, it crosses your mind, uh, needing a tummy tuck, so, so anyway, I, I did feel like that was a bit of a validation that I'm not, um, that my blood labs were good and I'm not crazy thinking that I need to have this excess skin removed, um, Let's see. Oh, an NSV that I had this week. I have um, cousins and uh, family that live in North Louisiana, which is like more of a rural country area. And but well, this particular cousin lives not far out of Baton Rouge, but um, which is not. But she's from the country. But anyway, I, I don't talk to um, these cousins very often, and um, we, we see each other on Facebook. But it's you know you know how Facebook is. Um, but I got an email from one of my cousins this week at work, and she was asking me about something about a job um, that's open at um, the university I work for, but she, she ended the email asking me how am I combating our wood jeans, which my, um, my grandmother's maiden name was Wood, and um, we're, we all have the same, we all look alike, we all have the same body shape, we all have weight problems. We all carry our weight the same way. And she said, you know, what are you doing to combat those wood jeans to, uh, to lose weight? She said, I, I want you to know that I have a picture of you, um, up on my computer as motivation to, uh, to lose weight. Now, this is a cousin that I, I probably haven't seen her in years, and we really never talk. And so, for her to take the time to send me an email and say that was like, wow. So I responded to her and I told her that I had the VSG, I, I laid it all out, that I changed the way I eat, I exercise, um, that it hasn't been easy, it's been a lot of work, but I'm very thankful for it and I'm thankful that she um, took the time to congratulate me and, and notice it. And so that made me feel really um, proud of myself, so um, yeah. Uh, finally, I just want to talk about one other thing that came up with my labs. You know, I said in my last video that they said that I need to incorporate more uh, complex carbohydrates. And I, probably for normal people, it'd be like, okay, whatever, drink a glass of milk and have a piece of fruit. You know, and that's like what I'm trying to get into my head right now. In, incorporating complex carbs is not a big deal. It's not a deal breaker. But you know how you have that little piece of your mind? Sorry. Um, you have that little piece of your mind, uh, well maybe it's just me or the food addiction inside of me, that when I hear, oh you can incorporate more carbs, that little devil sitting on my shoulder uh, hears, oh you can eat whatever you want now, you know, you can have whatever carbs you want, which I know logically is not true, but that little devil on my shoulder, I'm afraid he heard what they said and he's going to start whispering in my ear like, have some Cheez-Its, have some Doritos, you know. So, I am trying to educate myself and get a plan together so that I don't fall off the wagon like I talked about last time. I don't think I will because I'm determined. Um, to, to add calories, I'm just adding in, um, like I said, like a glass of milk. Um, I'm adding, uh, she said to do apples with peanut butter. I did that today. I don't like apples with peanut butter. Ugh. And peanut butter is kind of a trigger food for me that I could sit there and eat a jar of peanut butter by itself. 
um, I do, like, a couple times a week, do, like, a teaspoon of peanut butter just to get the flavor, but, um, I think I'm gonna have to find something, uh, uh, something different, but I'll probably do, like, an extra cheese stick a day, and, um, I am gonna order the Click Mocha, um, uh, protein mix, because everybody's saying how it tastes so much like the McDonald's frappes, which I love, um, so I am going to order like a few small uh, single serving packets of it and uh, I hope it tastes as good as everybody says it tastes because I'll probably do that in the morning because I figured out the, a packet of that um, made with um, a cup of milk would give me 23 protein for 200 calories which is great and it's um, more protein than I was getting with my regular protein shake in the morning so I really really hope I like it. I really hope I like it. So anyway, I think I have a plan. I'm going to do the best I can. If my weight loss slows down, I really don't give a crap because I am, what, like, um, I don't know, 16 pounds away from my goal. And that's the thing my OB said, that she thought my weight should be between 150 and 160. And she said I can really stop in the mid-160s, which is just 10 pounds away. Because she said when I have my plastics done and they lift my breasts and remove all the loose skin that I have on my stomach, that I will lose a probably, you know, several pounds from that, which will put me in my normal BMI. So um, it's like uh, a little weight's been lifted to know that I only have 10 pounds to go. And you know what? If I lose a pound a week from here on out, that's only, that's less than three, three months and I'll be at my goal weight. And so, hey, awesome, you know? And, you know, if it takes longer than that, whatever. I, I, I'm, like I said before, I'm happy where I am now. So I don't, I don't feel like I'm in a race anymore to get to where I need to be. Oh, and 175. That's, okay, so my weight today was 175. That was my next mini goal. So I met that next mini goal. So my, la my next mini goal is 165. So here's to another 10 pounds. Anyway, that's it, y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a wonderful week, a wonderful weekend. Um, I'll be doing a few little special things for my birthday, since my birthday's Saturday, and we're having a cookout on Sunday to celebrate with the whole family. So, love y'all. Thanks again for all the support. Thanks for all the comments on my last video. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. Bye, y'all. Have a good week.